Hello and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here and today I'm painting this wintry impressionistic landscape using watercolour. I'm painting on rough grain paper today. This is size 9 inches by 12 inches. Uh, I'm beginning by adding some clean water across the paper, ready to paint wet and wet. I will be using the uh, popular card swipe method to apply my first layer of paint today. So applying three colours of tube paint to the short edge of an old store card. Uh, on my card today I have some sepia, some ultramarine and some burnt sienna. I'm using the card to apply the layer of paint slowly in uh, horizontal motions to achieve these lovely sort of dark sweeps of colour. Of course you don't have to use a card for this technique, this could be done with a palette knife or any uh, similar tool or even a decently sturdy flat brush. I'm using a small amount of the blended paint from the back of the card to create a simple sky. You can see here I'm mixing a small amount of sepia and ultramarine with plenty of water. This creates a really lovely shade of neutral grey that I think is just perfect for a winter sky. I'm using a spray bottle and my one inch mottler brush, which is a really lovely little brush, to help move the paint around and set up a relatively simple foreground, as well as a, uh, a smaller round brush as well for any smaller details. Don't forget that you can always pick your painting up and tilt it around to encourage the water to flow in the right direction. If you want to add even more intensity at this point, you can always squeeze out some more tube paint to add using the card. However, do be wary of adding too much extra paint at this stage, as if it dries too thickly on the paper, you may actually have some difficulty in getting it to fully dry, and the paint can sometimes remain tacky.
if you have any leftover thick paint on the paper that you want to remove or any puddles of excess water that may have formed, use something soft and absorbent to carefully remove them. I'm adding a sprinkle of salt into the foreground now, which is going to create this lovely spread of pale blooms. Once you've added the salt, it is time to leave the painting alone to fully dry and give the salt some time to work its magic. Now that the painting is dry, you can see this wonderful sea of white blooms left by the salt. I'm adding some simple stems to these using my sword liner brush to turn them into an impressionistic swathe of delicate pale flowers. I also wanted to add a stand of delicate winter birch trees, so I'm painting these using opaque white gouache which will stand out really nicely against this soft sepia toned background. I'm using some more sepia paint to add an extra tree here and in hindsight I realise now that placing it at this point does throw out the perspective of the painting sadly, so I will be coming back to fix that shortly. I finished off this stand of silver birch trees, believing the painting to be finished. I even took off all my masking tape and signed it, um, but I realised that that larger um, sepia coloured tree in the top right there is just the wrong size and was messing with the perspective. So uh, I had to retape it um, a little while later uh, and luckily I was able to, uh, to fix this. 
I began by using some clean water and my small blending brush, which you see here, to lift out the pale gouache I had put around the base of the tree. Luckily, um, gouache lifts really well and always uh, re-wets really quickly, so it wasn't too difficult, as you can see, to blend all that colour back in. Next, I used my liner brush to extend that line of the tree trunk downwards and bring it further into the composition. I also added uh, a couple of extra branches here and there, uh, and I did end up using a little bit of lamp black as well, just to help it stand out against that darker background, as well as introducing a very small amount of some more white gouache uh, as a highlight on the trunk. After adding a few finishing touches to the ground foliage uh, around the base of the new tree, the painting is finally complete. This was a really interesting experience for me. I am pleased with how this wintry scene has ended up looking, especially as there was a moment when I thought I had completely ruined it all and would have to begin again. Fortunately, I was able to rescue it. So thank you everybody for watching this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I uh, wish you all a wonderful rest of the week everyone and of course very happy painting.